Davies here from Fig Boot on Pens. Today I have for you a brand new pen which just hit the market a few weeks ago, and that is the Marte Modena Citizen. Uh, what I'm going to do is go over the parts and the features of the Citizen, talk about what I care for, what I don't care for, show some measurements, some size comparisons, provide a writing sample, and then let you know how you can win this pen. Marte Modena is a retailer based out of Modena, Italy. Uh, Modena is a, actually a city in northern Italy, Italy most famous for its automotive factories. Uh, Italian sports car makers such as Ferrari, Lamborghini, Pagani, and Maserati each have at one point or another had facilities there. Uh, Marte Modena is known for its close connection with Delta pens, but for this particular pen they've teamed up with the Italian manufacturer Marlin. And what they have done is created a line of pens inspired by different large cities from around the world, such as uh, like Tokyo and uh, Cairo and Beijing and London and Moscow. Uh, and there's a total of eight cities. And the model I have to, you to, for, to show you today is the Citizen of New York. Uh, now, this pen, it arrives in this box, uh, was provided to me at no, char no charge to, uh, to review. And as I mentioned, at the end of this review, I will be giving this away. Um, the sleeve slides off to reveal the warranty card, which is just a basic warranty card with some information there. And uh, it also slides off, to, uh, slides off to reveal this rather nicely stitched faux leather box. And here is the pen, the Marte Modena Citizen of New York. The color scheme for each pen is derived from a flag which relates to the city, uh, whether it be the flag of the city itself, or a state, or the country as a whole. In case of the New York, the blue, red, ivory, and gold colors were inspired from the state flag of New York. Uh, just to show you a couple other examples, uh, here's the London inspired, inspired by the Union Jack, and here's the Tokyo taking its colors from the Japanese flag. Uh, this pen is made from uh, several different types of resin. This is not injection molded resin. This is actually solid bars that are turned. Uh, the, let's start by taking a look at the cap. Uh, on the finial, there's a gold colored Marte Moten, a logo. Uh, it's tough to see in this picture, but the inlay on this pen is rotated about two degrees to the right in relation to the clip. Uh, you know, this is a common issue. I see a great deal and it's just something that uh, irks me a little bit that that can't get aligned. Uh, then we have a steel gold colored sword like clip with Marte Modena stamped on it. Uh, it has a decent amount of tension and operates just fine. Um, the cap actually has a nice amount of pearlescence to it. When it catches the light just right, it looks really nice. Uh, the cap actually tapers up and then we have an engraved cap band with a key, uh, Greek key design. There's a very small step down to the barrel, which tapers down just slightly, just a tiny bit less than one millimeter, uh, to a blind cap, which is slightly rounded. The cap actually twists off to reveal this gold-colored number six steel nib. Uh, this is a Bach nib, uh, and the only markings on this nib are the Marte Modena double M logo, which gives this nib a rather sleek look. And then, uh, you know, here's a closer look at the laser engraved logo. Uh, it's interesting to see the lines where the, the laser passed back and forth to create the engraving. And then here's a look at the plastic feed. Currently, the pens in the Citizen line are only offered with medium nibs, but uh, there's plans to actually expand that in the near future to include extra fine, fine, medium, as well as broad. Uh, the Citizen has a concave section, which I find to be very comfortable uh, and a decent size. Uh, the section actually transitions into the cap threads, which I don't find to be sharp at all. Uh, then we have a clear ink window. Uh, this pen uses a cartridge converter filling system and takes uh, standard international cartridges. Uh, a converter is included with this pen, but mine didn't arrive with any ink cartridges. Um, you can choose to operate the converter in two ways. You can remove this blind cap and access the converter this way, uh, but I actually prefer just to unscrew the barrel. Uh, this way you get a good look at the converter to make sure that you're getting a sufficient enough fill. And this is standard international uh, and will take standard international cartridges as well. Uh, the cap does post and it's light enough that uh, it really doesn't backweight the pen at all, and it does post securely. Now, 
In regards to the materials of this pen, while it's all a matter of personal taste, I, you know, I kind of feel that some of the pens in the Citizen line work better than others. For example, here's another look at the Tokyo model, where you basically have two colors, white and red. Uh, I think this looks rather sharp. Here on the New York, we have a number of things going on. We have the blue cap, then the ivory section, and blue threads, and a clear ink window, and a red barrel, and an ivory blind cap. You know, besides the abundance of colors, you have a difference in the material itself. You have the cap and section and threads and uh, blind cap, all having that more pearlescent look, but the barrel is solid red, lacking any texture at all. You know, I just think this area here is a little bit busy. Uh, contained within half an inch, you have four different colors and three different textures. I, I just feel that this pen, as well as some of the others in the line, could use one or two less colors. Uh, in regard to performance, uh, this nib performs very well. Uh, I've uh, never tried a Marlin pen, but uh, you know I know that they make both entry level and uh, some very expensive pens. And while I've had some concerns about the color schemes, the pen itself is very well constructed. Uh, it makes me want to potentially check out some of Marlin's other pens to see what they have to offer. Uh, each of the Citizen models retails for just over $100. Uh, you know, would I like it better if it was $75? Yes. Uh, but while $100 isn't overpriced, in my opinion, it is on the high end of what I feel the value that this pen, bring, pen brings to the table. Um, besides the eight other cities, there's an additional seven pens inspired by the cities in uh, by cities in Africa, and 50% of the proceeds from those pens are being donated to a charity uh, that works to create lasting health change in impoverished Afri African communities, which is a worthwhile cause. Now, as I had previously mentioned, the good folks at Marte Modena provided this pen to me free of charge to review, and I thought I would give it away. And to earn this pen, I have a challenge for you. You may or may not have noticed, but over my shoulder where I keep my Magnus, in every review beginning with the Conklin Durograph on November 12th of 2016, there's been a single letter hidden up there. For this review, however, there's actually two, just to get you started. What you need to do is first go back and find all of the letters. Uh, there's a total of 13. Uh, if you do find a letter on more than one review, that means that letter actually shows up twice. Then, once you have all of them, all 13, you need to take those letters and form four basic fountain pen terms. Nothing complicated. I'll give you a hint. There's actually, there are actually parts of a fountain pen. Uh, when you have your answers, please email them to me at figboodonpens at gmail.com. Uh, don't post the answers in the comment section. Uh, you don't want to give away the answers for free. Uh, today is Monday, December 26th, 2016. Uh, you have until midnight on Thursday, December 29th to enter. Uh, it might be a little work, but it just might be uh, worth it because it might reduce the number of uh, entries and the folks that enter and provide you with a better chance of winning this very pen. I uh, wanted to thank the good folks at Marte Modena for providing this pen for review. Uh, so now it's time for some measurements some size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Marte Modena Citizen. Uh, here it is in regard to a Visconti Millionaire. Then here it is with a Pilot Custom Heritage 845. Uh, and then here it is with a Sailor King of Pen Pro Gear. Then in regard to some less expensive pens, we have it with the Twisby Diamond 580, the Lamy All-Star, uh, and then a Pilot Stella 90S. So here we go with the writing sample for the Marte Modena. Citizen, New York. This is a medium steel nib, and the ink that we're using today is Private Reserve. Mm -hmm. 
Naples Blue. Uh, this is what the ink looks like. Uh, this is really one of my favorite um, blue inks. Uh, it looks very similar to uh, Cone Pecky, which is another one of my favorite blue inks, uh, as well as Kobe number 17. All three of these might be my three favorite uh, blue inks, but I like them very much. Uh, it actually comes in this bottle, uh, which is really nice. It has a nice fat top to it uh, and, is, uh, and is deep enough so that you can fill just about any pen from it. So it's nice like that. So here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Uh, this is uh, a steel nib that is a little bit on the rigid side. You're not going to get tons of line variation out of here. Uh, with very little pressure and then adding some more, it's just a tiny bit. Uh, in regard to wetness, I'd say this is a medium wet pen. It's not super wet. And in regard to reverse writing, It started off very okay, but then uh, it kind of faded, so the ink flow isn't so great on the reverse writing. And in regard to some fast writing, the feed keys up just great. Uh, that I wanted to thank the good folks. At martemodena.com. for providing this pen for review and for giveaway uh, that I'll put a link to their store in the notes below so you can check out uh, this pen as well as the other is others ones in the citizen line uh, they have lots of different color variations and so chances are that there's a, a color combination that uh, that'll meet your needs so thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later